Relax. Up six, friends. Go. They're practising today, but they'll be doing this for real soon enough. A little bit more. Stop. It's the first time trainees Sophie and Georgina are getting hands-on experience since arriving at RAF Cosford. Today's task, raise the aircraft on jacks and change the wheels. Sophie is taking the lead. I've always liked taking things apart, putting them back together. I used to do it a bit at home if there was anything broken. It would have been about 16. I actually went, no, this is definitely what I want to do. It's always interested in me because I've been surrounded by military life quite a lot of the time when I was younger. A lot of my friends um, all have military in the family. I don't, but they do. So I learned quite a lot about it through them. So I thought it would just be interesting and it was something I looked like I would enjoy. Yeah. Their role is vital. They are the last people to work on aircraft before they fly. This is the safe backdrop to make any mistakes so they don't repeat them on the front line. Very vital, because if we can't do our job properly, then we have no air power, no planes are going up to protect us, nothing. That's why you do all that basic training with, under all that stress, and even here, you have to make sure everything's okay. Like, just even today, um, part of the aircraft, um, this, it's called an arrest hook, it's quite da dangerous, you're not allowed to walk under it at any point. And they're not attached to these aircrafts that we have here, but you still need to learn. And I walked under it and just forgot, and the sergeant told me to lie on the floor because I was dead for a bit. So I was laying on the floor for a bit today, <laughs> just to teach you it. So these two red bars, yeah. we've got one that goes front to back, and then the one at the rear of that that goes side to side. Engineering right. has always been a male-dominated role, but though there aren't many women, it's not exactly a brand new concept. There's definitely more women coming into the engineering trades now. Even here as an instructor, I've noticed that we've got several courses with, with women on them. Um, even on the frontline squadrons, there's more and more women involved with the engineering side of aircraft, whether that be working on the aircraft or in a managerial role. So it's definitely in, improving. Over in Hangar 143, an engineer who made history 18 months ago, Marie Cross is the first female weapons technician to reach the rank of warrant officer in the RAF. Because this is a roll pin drift, yeah. so you would take the roll pins out, but it's got an edge on it, so give us the hammer. I'm going to, oh, I'm going to try my business. <laughs> right, and so how many press ups are you going to do if I can get this to work? Oh, I don't know. How many things? Two, probably at least. Right, give it a go. I can't promise. She's nipped over to take a look at their work, an unexpected chance for the next generation to absorb her expert advice. Uh, you saw that move there. Job done. <sighs> Catch you guys later. Thank you, Mom. It's all right. Having a, a bit of a, a lesson from the first female weapons technician was quite interesting. Um, I definitely like to see her as a bit of a role model as well for the male engineers. She's done it all, hasn't she? Well, she, she's uh, travelled, she's the highest uh, non-commissioned rank as well, and she's really a role model we can look up to. You're learning through experience, and sometimes the best way of learning is by making yeah. mistakes, yeah. isn't it? That's what we try to do. And they're starstruck for good reason. <laughs> Marie has served across the world during her career since she started here more than 30 years ago. She was ambitious from day one. I know it sounds a little bit cheesy, but I probably did want to be a warrant officer, even on those very early days, because I just thought, I just want to be the best that I can be. I had zero interest in anything pink and fluffy. Um, I was certainly not a girly girl. I was more interested in helping my dad fix his brakes than I was helping my mother bake cakes, for sure. That's why I wanted to be an engineer. I actually didn't know at the time that it was such a um, low population of females in the, in the Royal Air Force until when I said I wanted to be a weapons technician, they went, ooh, that's interesting, we don't get many of those. Um, I'm sure that some females may feel differently, but me personally, I've had um, a, a great 
equal career to all the men, so I've not really felt any different. Sophie and Jordina have got every opportunity that everybody else has. What I would say to them is they've absolutely got to grasp every opportunity that comes along and to be the very best that they can. In just a few weeks' time, they'll find out where they'll be posted as their careers are officially cleared for takeoff.